So uh, I wanted to know he, he, um, Emilio was uh, alone to do many different things. So um, doing the canopy, yeah. um, working, keeping working with tilling instead of a tractor, keeping putting no sulf sulfites and many other things. So how um, uh, how can you do that when you you have the pressure around you of uh, other farmers or you know to to resist? So. Allora dice tu sei stato l'unico che non ha qua nella zona continuato a fare tutto come si faceva una volta con l'uso della pergola, con, senza solfiti aggiunti, eh? dice come ci sei riuscito a resistere, a non cambiare mai nonostante la, la pressione no? delle persone, delle, eh, degli altri produttori. Sì, sì. Sono partito con quell'idea che... Eh, capite, di ingranare, non mi sono fatto piccare mai da nessuno. <coughs> cioè, l'idea era quella, la, la qualità, eh, quindi in qualsiasi modo io dovevo riuscire a fare la qualità, eh, quindi stava la parte opposta di quello che voleva crescere, diventare grande e fare un video della battaglia. He started exactly with the idea of making a wine of um, high quality, uh, uh, no matter what other people were saying, and uh, it was complete at the opposite from all the other people that was uh, the wanted to get bigger grandfather never wanted to get bigger but he wanted he always pushed the idea of making a great wine uh, naturally like how he knew to do and with the uh, with the technique that were um, unseen here in Abruzzo and uh, it's, I, I, learned, I heard he, he started with one hectare mm -hmm. And so, but his parents and grandpa grandfather, pa father and grandfather also made wine. So they, did, did they have a surface of, of their own? Uh, why did it begin with allora only one? Allora dice che tu hai cominciato con, con un ettaro, questo sì, pezzo qua, sì, no? Sì. Eh, hai detto però tuo padre e tuo nonno facevano pure il vino. Sì, e sì. da dove lo prendevano? Sempre da questo vigneto no, o da altri? No, stava da là, io la pozza, stava il vigneto, stava un altro là. La mia no, che poi è stata, stata spartita di risorelli, okay. capite? Quindi quella è... Uh, so, yes, uh, he started in 1964 with this actor. This yes, was oh, the exactly actor. where we are. Yes, okay. where we are now. Okay. Uh, but then his father and his grandfather were making wine too, but only bulk wine, so he okay. was the first one who bottled. Okay. And usually that, that bulk wine was coming not from this vineyard, but from different vineyards, always around here the area, okay. but different parcels. So they would sell to, to the negos? Or yes, you know, to, uh, to, other, to other farmers, <coughs> to other uh, the people that wanted wanna the wine. Yeah. So w what we see here? So it's here we it's have Montepulciano. Yes, this is all Montepulciano. Yeah. This is our oldest uh, uh, pergola of Montepulciano. Uh, as you can see from uh, from the trees are, are very, very old. Yeah, grandfather is uh, pointing the, the color of the leaves, which is bright red. Usually he's very, always very happy when the color is bright red because it means that the plant is healthy. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And usually, since grandfather never, never used any chemicals, the plants have roots that they go back in the soil for five, six meters. And that's very, very important because in 50 years, nobody ever went there to feed them, to give mm. water when they mm. needed water, to give nourishment when they needed um, nourishment. So the plant had to go deep in the soil and dig to reach uh, those things and now we have plants that are much more resistant because mm. such in the such deep the temperature is always constant and then they have there all they need mm. so water and nourishment and grandfather it's a, a huge um, uh, fan of, of the pergola which is now a system that nobody uses it anymore because you cannot work mm. with the tractors mm. inside and uh, everything has to be done by hand but grandfather says, but maybe he will tell that there is the perfect relationship between the grape and the leaves. Mm. Uh, dice, perché sei un grande sostenitore della pergola? Perché fa un grande più a zucchero la pergola, dalla filare. E quindi, cioè, il rapporto della pergola è uno a uno. 
ogni chilo di uva produce ha un metro quadro di foglie che prende il sole e come i pannelli solari naturalmente perché si mettono orizzontali perché prende più sole mentre eh, la filara è, è come quando se mettereste un bannello per pendicolare e che non ci lo mettere giù perché ti farete you saying that the vineyards uh, is like uh, solar panels would you ever put a solar panel vertical no because it wouldn't take enough sun while if you put horizontal it will take a lot of sun uh, and he says that the leaves are those who have to take the sun because uh, they are the engine of, uh, of the vineyards uh, and then he says that the, in the pergola there's the it's the only system where you have the relationship one to one so each kilo of grape that that a plant has has one square meter of leaves around him that work for the grape so much more photosynthesis and much more sugars into the grapes after mm. and then the pergola also protects the grape from the sun so the grape always grow uh, like the skin is also always very velvety never get burned uh, but wh while at the same time still have sugar because uh, with the photosynthesis the, um, the leaves will translate the sun to the grape mm. and so here uh, when I see this uh, this slope and it's not very high but do, do